And welcome back to some more updates on Alien Romulus. So it looks like the director, Fede Alvarez, has posted a couple of new set pictures on his Twitter. So let's have a look. Okay, so this one here, uh, he says, this is the Corbulon 4 built by the legendary Ian Hunter and his team. Yeah, it says Corbulon 4, property of Wayland yutani And here's the next one. This one answers a question only people from my country ask. Esta foto responde una pregunta que solo la gente de Uruguay me pregunta. Well, I'm not from Uruguay, so I'm not really sure what this is referring to, but uh, I'm guessing it has something to do with the flag. That's what I think. Yeah, these uh, old computer systems are pretty ancient. You even see the uh, floppy drive. Wow. Here's the next one. The Corbulent 4 in Alien Romulus is quite an old ship, except for a few new mods, like the newly installed airlock panel. What other ship had this same system? Oh, I guess this is like uh, trivia. And down here someone said, The Sulaco airlock with Ripley hang on for life. We went to extreme lengths in Alien Romulus to avoid CG sets. This is Jackson's Star Colony on the first night of shooting. And by the way, where did you see that red neon sign before? If while watching Alien Romulus, you see one of these, and there are many, what do you think it means? Well, this one does look like the emergency phone booth in Alien Isolation. It's got a few similar features. True Fan Award for you. 07-1984 is when Aliens came out. I think Aliens came out in 1986. So maybe there's an error there? Not sure, but yeah. And uh, 692 for Alien 3. 692 is June of 1992, but according to online sources, uh, a lot of websites say that Alien 3 was released in May of 1992, which is the fifth month of the year. So again, maybe that's an error, a typo, or something. I'm not sure. So anyways, yeah, that's all the updates for now. So what do you guys think of these on-set pictures? I'll see you next time.